Ok, Assalamualaikum uh, dan selamat sejahtera. So, I am going to give you a very short uh, recorded lecture about our project mode which we are going to conduct within these two weeks, ok, towards the end of the semester. Ok, we have to catch up a little bit because uh, we have uh, many days off on Monday which is actually your lecture day uh, and I have uh, amended the questions so that it will actually be very straightforward and uh, hopefully you can all accomplish uh, within the time given and using the strength of your team members okay so this project mode is actually based on a case study and uh, the company that I have chosen is uh, called Srimorni Enterprise, which produces um, Kropot Leko and Sata Roll. Okay. Uh, this will be the observation uh, for the project to be completed. But first, I'm going to introduce uh, this uh, Sustainable Development Goals, which is also called as SDGs. And it has 17 elements. Okay, so you have from number one until number 17. So this uh, SDG goals is becoming more popular. In fact, it's getting more uh, integrated to the a lot of organizations in Malaysia, and especially in education. And uh, in fact. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the elements of the 17 SDGs is also need to be integrated into our teaching uh, method. Okay, but uh, maybe this is uh, at the early phase. But as I think, um, uh, as far as an engineering student is concerned or technology student is concerned, you need to know what is actually. Uh, SDG means okay at least uh, this will be very beneficial if you go for interviews or something like that okay so uh, if you have time you can uh, briefly uh, skim through what is actually SDG and what is the uh, principle behind it but basically what I'm going to emphasize here is um, for the 21st century uh, a lot of projects need to be uh, completed or conducted using the skill of a person, a professional who has some knowledge on sustainability. Okay, so the basic elements for any sustainability uh, uh, project or sustainable project is actually three P's: planet. Uh, profit and also the people. These three P are the Elkington's principle and economist. Okay, and in his philosophy, uh, it is very good if we can balance anything that we do in a project uh, that can cater these three elements, these three P's. Okay, uh, means you should not only focus on profitability for a project to be considered successful but you also need to consider that the project does not have any harmful and elements to the environment and also provide value to the people uh, as a stakeholder for the project okay so this is the background of uh, what i mean by sustainability skills okay if you see this uh, uh, diagram, all these uh, skills that is related to sustainability is going to be very much needed and very much appreciated. And it is going to be a very a big value add, added to you if you are a graduating engineer, uh, a graduating student in engineering uh, degree, because uh, it is actually a very integrated approach in response to the global change. Okay, 
if you want to further your study on this, you should read a lot of papers, especially uh, for for Malaysia. I think you can refer to me, my papers, Kartina Johan, and also Dr. Faiz Turan. Okay, both of us are actually have research a lot of research based on the sustainability skills, okay, or sustainability method, okay. Okay, so for this project, um, as mentioned before, we are going to look into three money enterprise. And this is actually a very small company which I have visited uh, many years ago before PKP. And a lot of students have benefited from this project because they have a very uh, uh, real project as uh, an observation for the, uh, for the task that they are supposed to do. Okay. So there will be two videos that I have already provided the link in DC. You should watch it for you to be able to understand what to do for, for the questions. Okay. So the first question is about uh, uh, how do you actually choose uh, one of the SDGs to be related to the mission? Should you be uh, engaged as a sustainability engineer? to enhance the company's profitability while not harming the environment and keeping its value in contributing to the welfare of the people. Okay, So you can choose any of the 1, 2, 3, until 17 SDG and you just uh, explain what you understand of that particular SDG and from the observation in the video, uh, maybe you can suggest uh, something that is possible to be uh, worked on should you work for this company okay uh, just uh, you can make a, uh, any assumption that you can i just want you to use your knowledge in a very short time if you can gain some knowledge about sdg and also use your sharp observation on the processes and the environment that you observe in the videos okay and then uh, you map the processes for the Leco product and so you also map map the process for the Data role product, okay, and then you identify the hidden ways that you can observe in the production line, okay. This will actually uh, uh, make you a little bit aware of what actually can be done to reduce the waste, okay. So only four questions. So these questions should be completed uh, in the in these five assignments. But basically, A4, A5, and A6 are the minutes of meeting that you conduct within your team. You just have to record your minutes of meeting in that particular format that is provided inside the question sheet and submit the minutes of meeting on time. And then there will be one presentation slot in the class and then there will be a report. Basically, the project report and the project presentation content is the same. It's just that I want you to do it one in slide format so that you can have a presentation and one more is in the report format. And the reason why I need you to do it in a project format is actually I need you to give me some comments for the project report based on the things that you learned so far in this course. Okay. Uh, I know that there are not so much time that I spent on face-to-face -face with you. Uh, due to my situation, my personal situation. And I hope that uh, from this project, a very short project, you can gain something that is actually more realistic rather than just teaching it in class. Okay, so that's my, uh, that's my hope for my aspiration. Right. So that's all. And the rest, you can find it in the GC for all the question sheets and also uh, the the time frame for the project to be completed. Thank you and stay safe. Assalamualaikum.